In this video, we will show you how to add iTunes music that is on your server to your Casa Tunes. At the end of the video, we will discuss how you can add iTunes music from other computers in the house to Casa Tunes. Before you watch this video, you should watch the video called Prepare Your Computer for Casa Tunes for ideas on how to prepare your computer. First, open Casa Tunes Setup. Click on the iTunes Plus tab and click on Enable Costume Sync for iTunes. In the Costume Sync folder, you should have a path to the correct location. This is the username of, that you're using to log into the computer, and this is the Costume folder. If this is not the correct username, you can change it. To find the correct username, simply go to your Start menu, and typically it'll be on the upper right corner of the Start menu. The next two lines let you decide if you have iTunes on more than one computer in the house, you can actually have separate libraries in Casa Tunes. So if you want to do that, you would click on the second choice. Otherwise, you'd, if you want all of your iTunes music in one library, which is actually more convenient, we feel, uh, you'd pick the first choice. Once that's done, click on Summary and Finish. Next, make sure you install iTunes. Once it's installed, you should change a few of the preferences. So open up Edit Preferences, click on the Advanced tab, and you should check Keep iTunes Media Folder Organized and Copy Files to iTunes Media Folder when adding to Library. If you already have music in iTunes, it's a good idea to go to Library, Organize Library, and Consolidate Files. That'll make a copy of all your music and organize it properly in, in iTunes Media Folder. Another thing to check before you leave iTunes is make sure all the albums have album names. You'll have problems with search if, if you do not do that in Casa Tunes. Uh, in this case, we left one without a name, so you see what we're talking about. Uh, the Annie Lennox CD does not have a name in, in iTunes. You can simply right click, click on Get Info, click on Info, and type in the album name, click OK, and now that album has a name. Uh, if you're not sure what the album's name is because you just have some random music, just type in unknown. Now you're ready to install Casa Tunes Sync, which is the program that actually takes the iTunes music and prepares it for Casa Tunes. Open up your browser, in this case we're using Internet Explorer. In the address bar, type in casatunes.com slash downloads. Go to the Casa Tunes Sync for iTunes area and download Casa Tunes Sync. Casa Tunes Sync will actually open up iTunes and then shrink it down. And then Casa Tunes Sync starts. The first time you install Casa Tunes Sync, you probably have nothing in the status bar, but we have actually uh, had this installed previously. Now you want to go to the Settings tab. You want to make sure that the name of your costume server is correct. In our case, it's ct-pc. And you can give any name you'd like to the iTunes library that will show up in the Casa Tunes. We put in My iTunes. Since we're installing Casa Tunes Sync for iTunes, in this case, on the Casa Tunes server, none of the music is actually copied. Uh, so either of these choices are okay, they're ignored when Costume Seek is on the same computer as, as the Costume Server. Uh, later we'll talk about those again. Once you're done, you can synchronize. And the music will show up in Costume Tunes. If you decide you might want to add some playlists into Costume Tunes, you can create playlists in iTunes. For example, we would say fi uh, file new playlists in iTunes. Let's call it uh, demo playlist. And then we'll pick some music to put into the demo playlist. Let's pick half a dozen or so songs. Put them in that playlist. Now we can close Costume Sync and then restart Costume Sync.
click on playlist tab and check the demo playlist box click on synchronize and the demo playlist plus all these songs and album covers will be transferred to Costa Tunes. The first time you synchronize iTunes, uh, it may be a little slow. After a while, it, when you're making a few small changes here and there, it, it synchronizes very, very quickly. And the only time you ever have to synchronize uh, iTunes music is if you make changes in iTunes and you want them to be reflected in Costa Tunes. Now that we've finished installing Costa Tunes Sync and, and synchronizing the iTunes music, we can run Costa Tunes and select music go to iTunes music type select by album artist genre also song title which is uh, the other direction and playlist you can see the demo playlist that we created and you can play your music to add iTunes music that's on other PCs in the house just make sure they're on the same network, they have the same work group. Install iTunes on those computers and then go to our website on those computers. Go to Casa Tunes slash downloads. Download the Casa Tunes sync. Go to the settings tab Make sure you put in the server name that Casa Tunes is on, and then you should be able to synchronize, just like you did with the uh, Casa Tunes sync that was on the Casa Tunes server. One thing you should be aware of is that Casa Tunes will not play iTunes protected music, DRM music. The music can be converted at the iTunes store into Apple Tunes Plus music, which we do play. And some people use uh, aftermarket products to convert music to unprotected music. At this point, you should have all your iTunes music into Costa Tunes, and you can listen to your iTunes music throughout your house. Enjoy.